Okay, see, now, I think, because sometimes I, I edit things out. You know, if, if, if I uh, just got long-winded or, or really made a big boo-boo a big or somebody comes in and I forget to turn, the, turn you off and we're talking about stuff, I'll edit all that stuff out. But because this is a film, I mean a video, geared towards you as the beginner, but anybody could be watching it, everybody makes mistakes all right um especially when it's you know almost 12 o'clock at night but this is when i get to come in here and do this stuff so um i have i cut from my little strip here i cut two of these and then i think i want to cut another one of these I wonder if I just cut I think will that give me enough to get in there I think it will so I'm it's not going to be a whole square but I'm just going to line it up and get an, as nice a cut as I can. But it's not a whole inch square, it's just that left over edge. So now this is straight across and I didn't lose much paper. So let's ink this and see if it's gonna work. If not, I, I would have had to have cut it off to get to a good spot anyway. So I want this one in the center yeah, that's going to work out nicely. So we're going to, let's see, I got to ink these puppies. We're going to take these, the cream ones. Come on. There you go. And we're going to take the cream ones and we're going to do our edges just like we did in the front okay so you can have got that little black edge if i leave this on the white i think you can see it nicely and i'm just inking the two sides don't have to ink the back and again just leave a nice even edge Make sure your point is in the center. There we go. If anything is hanging off, that little corner is, just give it a snip. All right, so there's that, and then we're gonna glue this one. Let's see, where do I want this? Do I want it there? What is wrong with that corner? Hold on. This is just a little... Well, I can tell I'm not going to use that corner. Okay. So let's just do it this way. No. Nope. See, that's not going to get covered up. About this way. Is that going to cover everything up? Yes. So we're going to do it this way. There we go. And just leave yourself a nice even black edge on there as well. Okay. Now, let's try this February thing again. So, I'm just going to lay this across. Look at how different the colors are from two different paper packs. This February versus this February. <laughs> Their ink must have been getting low on this one. Isn't that funny? I love this one better. Um, okay, so I'm going to place this 
exactly on the top of this one. So it, it, it will be a little thicker, but you know what? It will give it some heaviness, which will be nice. It will give it some heaviness. So first I'm just going to put glue right on here since I know exactly where this is going to be. And line it up so you can't see it. Make sure your February is in the center. And there we go. And now we're going to be able to fold over our edges and close everything in so that you're not going to be able to see all these little triangles. And I did get all of this off, but just a little thin piece. So it's not going to be nearly as thick on this side. And we're going to fold that over. And fold this over and line them up. Oh, isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? All right. So there we go. So there is that part done. Yes love it. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we are in the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. Home stretch. Yes, we are. So now, before we do the backgrounds here, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I made a mess here, and I really do want to try and get it cleaned up. So, I think I'm going to use this and make myself a little flag. And I want the flag, where's my little doodad here? I want the flag to come out from underneath. I don't know if I want it to be wider, I guess is what I'm saying. See how that's kind of coming out past? I think I want it to come just directly underneath. So I am going to put myself a little mark where it will be underneath the circle. So it's smaller than the diameter of the circle. And I hope I'm saying that correctly and I hope that it is making sense. So we're just gonna cut this little bad boy. We're gonna ink it up. We've got it inked on two sides. Okay. Um, actually, we're gonna ink it up again here in just a second. I'm going to cut up the center. I'm just eyeballing it straight up the center and then I'm going to go from one corner to the end of where I cut. So I'm going to go from this corner up to the end where I cut and that's going to give me I think they call it fishtail but just be take your time get right in the corner Line it up and click, click it off. And now we're going to do the same thing with this one. And pull that bad boy off. And now we're just going to ink those edges. We're going to put a hole in here close to the top because I remember I don't want this paper sticking out uh-huh from my okay what did I do with it did it fall down no it did not fall down what did I do with it <laughs> I mean I don't have that much sitting here on my desk ah dummy 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 Lisa Lisa! Okay, now what did I do with the piece I just 
cut for that. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is just too fun. Just too fun. Well, that's kind of pretty. But I think I'm going to go with that one. I didn't really get that in the center, but let's see how it looks. Let's see how it looks. Okay. You know, actually, I am, um, it has little corners sticking out the sides, and I actually don't mind that. I think that's going to be okay. And then we can put it right about here, and it will kind of cover up. So I'm going to put my hole right above where I made the boo-boo. Now, if you guys didn't make a boo-boo, <laughs> and you have one of these, I would probably put it on this end right here but since I have my black color that I always end up doing and I'm not gluing anything down but this is where when you open it up you actually want to get it as tight as you can so that this doesn't move around a lot and once you get it lined up the way you want it on there, I take a teeny bit of score tape. Where is it? Right here. And I lay over it. See, this one you don't want it to move. So, make it where it won't move. Because I don't want this fishtailing around. I want it to stay right where I have it. And I like it that way. And then we're going to put it down. But you guys can do this or not do this. That is totally up to you, as is all of this. You can build the pages and put in your own papers however you want to do it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and install this one. Let's get the double-sided tape backing off. I have decided that I think September... I'm going to start, I used to, for a while, <laughs> had my nails done, you know, by a nail stylist, and I think probably late August, I will go and get them done again. And I'm quite excited about that. I don't get them long. I, I'm not that good with them. I don't get them long. I, I just... Um, something I have creates my nails. They're very long. I mean, they're very hard. And um, I can keep long nails pretty well. But with all of the work I'm doing around here... Uh... They, they've not been staying nice at all. So, I think I'm going to start getting them done again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I don't, I don't get the acrylic nails. I get, I don't know, I don't remember what the heck they call it. Got a little fuzzball right there. I don't know what that's off, but I don't want it. Okay, so there we have, um, and I didn't actually put it all the way through because it's not holding anything. I mean, you can use it as a little tuck spot for something. Most definitely, another reason why you want to kind of keep it um, not moving and tight. So you can put, if you end up with one of these, you can stick it up underneath there. You can take your photo and stick it up under, excuse me, underneath there. So, you know, it's, it's nice to have that. Okay. So, now we have this here. And I want this to be at the top. And you notice it's not long enough. But that's okay. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Yes. And I might, let's see, I've got one two three one two three i have one flower i may have one flower that we could cut out and put down here or here 
or here or here or here or here or here or here or here. <laughs> uh, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, now these strips that I cut, I think I had one that was smaller. Yeah, these two are the same size and this is larger. So I am going to put this down, stick it down into the pocket and bring it straight out of the pocket all the way up to where I like it. Now it will leave a larger black edge, but it's the same black edge all the way down, if you can see that. So that's what I'm looking for is to have that, that symmetry, that, um, I don't know what you call it, but you want the same distance. But by sticking it in the pocket and making it come straight up out of that, you have that. Okay, and this is inked. And that doesn't need it. And we're going to glue this down. So this is going to help us have to use less paper. Plus, I think the, the uh, I love, I love stripes. I love them. They are super cool and then we're going to pull this up so we have a nice edge at the top now the edge at the top can go back to what you have everywhere else you don't need to make the edge for the top the same as this edge coming down here you want the edge for the top to be the same with all the others okay and then let's get this one installed and this needs there we go, and that side's done. And you don't have to glue down the whole, you know, go all the way down because the part that's in the pocket will be held in the pocket because it's in the pocket. Okay, so we're going to lift that right up there. And it needs to get slid in a little bit more little bit more and we want again the same edge all the way this can come over just a smidge there we go okay so you have this nice the same edge I don't know that looks like I've pulled it over just a little bit too far okay there we go nice same edge now let's see I'm thinking I'm wanting to try and keep this so let's see if we're gonna have enough uh, get in there uh where is that that's the end nope we're not gonna have enough to do that on both and get that so let's see mm, 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 mm. now i still have this and i still have this um I am going to cut this in half. Just going to do it the old fashioned way. Just line up those corners, those edges. There we go. And I'm just going to do like I did before. This is the opened end. This is the closed end. And I'm just going to lay it down so I'm cutting off just the end. There we go. Okay. So now let's see what we can do. 
We have first, we have these flowers. Now I can either keep them at the top of the page and have them come down onto this so it looks like it's continuous or have this at the top of the page and then we'll put this right here and then have this underneath. I think I like this at the top because the hearts that are at the top don't line up with the hearts that are on this and then this is going to get glued down so it's right underneath that and then this will get glued down right like that and then I think I will have oops then I think I could even do it that way and have plenty to get that one card out. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so first thing we want to do is I want the strip underneath the flowers. So I'm gonna just lay the flower. Now I am leaving myself a gap between this strip and the flowers. This is a kind of patchwork. When you have um, when you have the black showing, because um, you have a border around each piece. So then I'm going to slide this underneath until I have it covering the openings as I need them. Okay, and then I'm going to take this off and I'm going to draw myself a pencil line all the way across. I'm also going to cut out how much I need of this. So now I know exactly where to put this. And I'm going to, where's my mark? Where's my mark right there? I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to the size I need it. So there's another little piece we're going to keep. And then I'm going to glue this down. And do I have that straight? Is that like straight? I don't think it's straight. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad, but you want it to, you know, be straight so it looks good. Don't have to do the upper line. Let me just give this a quick, if you want to know if you drew a straight line or not, you're going to take your ruler and you're just going to measure from the line up to the top. And it's one and a half inches down all the way across. And for those of you with centimeters, centimeters, it is four centimeters. Okay. And since I have my ruler out, I'm just going to also draw my line right there. So I've got that one. So I'm already ahead of the game. Ahead of the game, girls. Yes. Okay. Now, as we go uh, along and along, I will speed up. So these, these videos won't be as long because you will have gotten what I'm talking about. You know, I will have gone over stuff already because I am assuming that there is someone in the crowd watching this that has never done any of this before. And those are the ones that I really was hoping that if they wanted to do, they do take some time. They really do. They take time. They take time to make, but they're so much fun and they're so beautiful and they're just, you know, 
they're habit forming <laughs> they are habit forming for me anyway yes okay cut that save that little piece see i'm putting all my tiny pieces into my little bucket because we're going to be using those to work on our patchwork for this uh, flap for our closure flap inside part okay let me ink what needs to get inked again okay glue it down okay and I want to just make sure that I'm looking at the same distance from the edge of the cardstock on both sides so they look symmetrical and I need to probably come up just a little bit I think I'm sorry guys I gotta see this for a second just does not look straight and I'm hoping that I can get it up I swore it was straight but it don't look straight let me see so how you can tell if something's straight you put it oh and it is not straight <laughs> okay so first you we don't want to mess with these ends because we know they are what we need but when you put this end up against this tray you should see that it lines up with the lines now it lines up it lines up not too terribly bad along the four inch it comes all the way out to the three inch here but up here it doesn't so I am going to take and see um, so I don't want to cut anything off of the top so I am using my finger to hold it at the cut line so nothing gets cut off of that one then I'm trying to make this as straight as I can, leaving out the edge that I want to cut. And I think I still need to cut a little bit off because I am still, well, let's, let's look because I, I cut, I cut a, a smidge. I cut a smidge off. So let's look and see what we have here. Okay, a little more glue. And we're going to make that there and that like that. So there we go. Now that's probably the hardest part of this whole page. Okay, um, then we're going to cut this the same size, which you could, if you haven't glued these down yet, you could take this, line it up with this, and cut it. I didn't think about it, so I am just going to make a mark right along the edge of the paper I'm measuring and then I'm going to cut and put one end put each mark on the end and not really worry about what's straight and what's not straight okay let me ink this cut edge double check that I'm doing all right okay and then let's glue this down Kind of follow your glue along. There we 
go. And make sure that you're keeping a nice edge all the way around. And there we go. Let's get a little burnishing going on. Ain't it? All right, let's get this thing finished up. Okay, so I was looking through my pieces. Um, and kind of figured out what how I'm going to finish things. So we've got everything on the inside done and I do believe that we will we will back that on black paper. Uh, let's see. So all you do um, we're going to ink it uh, Yeah, I've already inked it. I've got a fly flying around here and it's absolutely driving me nuts. <laughs> and I am recording and you can hear me. Okay. So we're going to just back this. I am so excited you guys are doing this with me. And I hope that I'm not overwhelming you. I hope I'm keeping it straightforward enough for you and then you want to go ahead and line up two sides and I see that I need to put my and remember don't work on your paper I get so enthralled with what I'm doing and it's easy to do okay and just let's get that off of there and then you can either use your scissors or use your cutter and keep the angle I mean keep the uh, black edge all the way around and this was just a scrap I had and there you go got a nice black edge all the way around it's quite a bit more substantial than it was and so there is a little tag um, but this is primarily you know you can put pictures in here that maybe you're not able to fit into uh, any place else and let me put my There we go. Okay. Uh, all right. So what what I'm going to do then, and I was going to try and keep this postcard, is utilize this. And see, it's going to go down under about a quarter of an inch, which is okay. That is that is a okay. We want to leave the black edge around here, so I'm going to mark right where I want to cut to get this first piece and then to get the second piece oh I'm gonna have to let's see we'll do it this way work on making sure that your edges are in there and nice and straight there we go and then just mark where you want to cut and we'll do this one where's my mark there it is always losing my mark and right about there i believe yeah, that might be a titch long. I might not have gotten that just right, or did I? 
I did. Okay. Your pencil mark, if you have a little bit of a pencil mark, get that off. Most of this is got the edges done except for the cut, cut the cut part. Alrighty. Okay. So we are we are just going to go ahead and glue these down. We're not gonna put glue on the very bottom, you know, about the last quarter of an inch because that's gonna be under the pocket and you just don't have to worry about gluing it. And pick up your pocket and slide it in. And I think I'm gonna have to cut it back just a little bit. <sighs> Let's see, with my glue on it, where's my, see if I can get this glue off. I wasn't taking into account. See, that's why I want to show you guys all of my mistakes. Well, no, it, it should fit in there, but the paper is, this is very thick paper. So when I put it where I think it's going to go, it is not quite because it has to go inside the fold of the pocket and that takes up a little bit more room than what I was accounting for. So it just needs to be trimmed down a, and I'm gonna flip it over so I'm not trying to rake the tacky glue. I don't wanna take off much. I just wanted to take off a sliver and let's ink this back up. And let me try it before I, okay, there we go. Now that will work, that will work much better. I think, let me see. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna glue this puppy down yet again. There we go. Lift your pocket up, get it in there, and then line it up with all your bits and pieces, making sure you've got the nice edge. And there we go. And then just burnish it down. And then this one goes this way, I think. Does it go this way? No, it goes this way. And yeah, this one's going to have to be There's no way that's going to fit in there. Okay, going to have to be cut down just a smidge. And this on the bottom doesn't matter because that all goes underneath the pocket. So that is not going to be seen. And I want to make sure this is nice and straight. So let me try that because actually it was a bit of a crooked cut. So let me see if I can get this into the pocket. Oh, okay. So this pocket is not allowing me to get this paper anywhere close. Okay. Anywhere close to the edge here without it being really look, look crooked. Um, so I'm going to show you, we're going to leave it in the pocket, pull it up to where we want to have our little black edge. And that's where I want it. I'm going to put a mark right at the very, very tip 
and even try and get my pencil down underneath just a little bit and make a little bit of a of a pencil mark in there about a quarter of an inch I only need to cut in about an eighth of an inch just hunting my scissors here so I'm going to cut in a little bit about an eighth of an inch and I'm going to cut that piece off now I'm going to set it back in here and those silly flies okay and it is still a teeny bit let me just take off a teeny bit teeny bit Okay, get this back in here and let's make sure that we've got it working. Working properly. And there we go. There. So that looks much nicer. And all it took was just taking a little bit off of here so that it could fit. I'm just going to erase my pencil line so that won't be seen. A little bit more. you got to be careful that you don't start taking the cover, the top of the paper off. Okay, and I did ink. Okay. And again, we're not going to put it all the way down at the bottom. We're going to bring it down to the point where I cut off. And that is far enough down. Lift your pocket up and slide both edges in. And then line everything up just the way you had it. Bring it up just a little bit and over and there we go. Okay, there, there. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? Okay, um, now I had this little piece of this flower left from this it's not a whole one but I think I can do something with it so I am going to cut this out and I think I'm going to cut this out as well so that will give us a strip of paper and this is our postcard. Well, I'm sorry, I'm working on the front. So this will give us a strip of paper on the front. We can split this in half and put it on the outside. And then we will put some of our brown or cream colored paper in the center. All right. Um, I think, yeah, I'm also going to take this little gal out. Um, I know it's a Cupid, but you know, hey. So I am going to pull this out, just cutting it. There we go. There'll be a few of the designs that we're going to have to add more cardstock to. Um, so I've got that, and I'm going to take this off. And then this, oh, I did not, poo, poo. I thought it was going to be long enough, and it's not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so 
I can do this. Hmm, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so this is actually needs to get... I'm checking for straightness. Now when I put it... See, this is totally not straight. Let's first get this one. I'm lining up one of the strips and cutting. So now I know that is straight. And then let's see. So this has got a little edge on it that needs to come off. And oh, let me check this side. That's straight. This side. That's straight. And now let's draw it this way. So that is also now. So all four sides are now straight. I hope you saw what I was doing there. Um, and let's see. Uh, did I want to? I don't know what that is. I want to. Let's see. What do I have here? This is. Let's see. I'm cutting that piece off because I want I want to make it easy. So I've got it at one and three quarters. I'm now going to put it at one and a quarter. And that's going to give me a half inch strip. And then I'm going to put it at three quarters. And that's going to give me a half inch strip. So now these will go into my little supplies. Okay. We're going to make this work. We are going to make this work. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of center this. and cut it so I have a little black edge on top. Alrighty. Oops. There we go. I didn't quite get my line off. So let's see how this works. Center. And got a little black edge. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Sorry if I got my head in the way. So this is our scraps. We don't have a ton of scraps, but we will we do have enough to get everything done. I still have this or this. Um okay, now I didn't make these long enough. Ba bam and ba bam, you know, dummy dummy me let's see is that long enough that is not <coughs> is this long enough no <coughs> i'm so sorry uh allergies wow okay so i think we're going to do some squares across okay oh that's awful wait a minute let me let me cut some more squares um that was some different black paper i had and i didn't realize that it was uh textured so it wasn't awful it's just not I'm not using textured black paper so I'm not gonna start and then I think what we'll do is we'll do three of these across here okay we can even just touch the sides and that can go off just a little bit and then I'm going to cut this in half and we're going to slide one end down this way and one end up this way. And then we will figure out how deep we need this to be. Okay, okay, okay. And I think when we do this, boom, 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 we can glue this. 
Mm. Mm. No. No. We'll do this and um I could put this on it. And just have the halves out and use some of my scraps of this on there. Okay. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, because I don't need any more stripes on there. Oh, I've got a little gnat and a fly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm beating on my microphone. <clears throat> okay, so let's ink these up. Whoops. Let's ink these up. Trying not to get myself all black. Trying. Trying. So, I hope everybody's been doing well. And I hope everybody had a great 4th. I know this will air way after that, but it's the 4th. Okay, so I am going to take both of these. Fold them in half and cut. And I'm going to ink those. So we're going to put, and I want a black edge everywhere. And we're just going to do it just like that, okay? And hopefully we will be able to figure this one out so we'll have enough. I know you guys are probably thinking, oh my God, why did you use this paper? Because we are really having to worry about, you know, oh, I've got to keep this little strip, got to keep that little strip, blah, 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 blah. Well, you guys, um, you don't always have... Uh, a, a bunch of paper to use and I mean unless you got a lot of money and you can buy everything uh, for every you know every once in a while if a if something really speaks to me that didn't get inked probably won't matter because it'll won't show but if something really speaks to me and I really really like it I will spend the money it's like 50 bucks if you're going to buy everything. Um, one of the places that that uh, does a bundle deal, I think um, Country Craft Creations, I think, does a bundle deal. And um, But the Funky Junkie, the one I keep talking about, uh, I've never met this woman. And, um, you know, I, I don't know her from Adam. And I don't get anything for saying this but it's good service and she does have really good prices so you might want she is florida based um so in the states florida based and uh but if you uh she has bundle prices and so you know sometimes you you get a better deal if you're gonna if you really want to buy the whole shebang um it's like 50 bucks 55 or something like that and uh she's real you know just just trying to just trying to help out but anyway uh so you're not always gonna have all the papers and all the stickers and all of this and all of that uh, does it make it easier yes oh this little gnat is driving me crazy um, yeah it does make it easier but and then I want to make sure that I bring this out far enough so I'm centering it between the two edges I'm centering my square and then I'm just gonna bring it out far enough to make sure that uh, I'm covering this open space and then just kind of not going to put glue on that section. So right there. Uh, 
There we go. And I'm just kind of making sure that the points are at the same spot on here so that I know it's nice and straight. And I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. And it should come out to about the same. So just going to put the glue on all of the spots that aren't going to be hanging over. I'm going to center it and move it until everything's covered. And I want to make sure that I have the points even. And I want to make sure that they look pretty straight. And then where's my little fella? And then we can do that. But let's cut, let's see, do I want any swirl or anything? I don't think so. Let's just cut this. And this is something, I mean, if you don't have one of these, just put it on your cutter and get a one inch by one inch square, guys. That's all you got to do. You don't have to buy this. I use these a lot. Um... I mean, this is one of the things I do with the, it's got a little, little something, something on it. So I'm just going to, you only have to ink up two edges because that's all that's going to be seen. And let's put this down. Right here. Now, the only reason I haven't put this down yet is because you're, you're not going to see anything. If you were going to see these diamonds, you know, or this square, see, and that's going to cover that up. Okay? I think that looks pretty good. Pretty good. I might even just leave it like that and not try and cut it down. I think I will. I think I'll just leave it like that. Uh, if you don't like that, then before you put the squares down, measure this to leave a little black edge. Measure it, cut it where you want, and see if I put it, then you're going to see. And then you would put your, your triangles down and then put the little square person or whatever that you choose on there. Um, but since uh, all I'm going to do is cover that all up, it didn't really matter which way I did that. I did that. It didn't matter. Okay. There we go. There's that. And then we've got this. Let's see. Put that there. I do need to cut off a smidge more. I want it to be the same height. The same height as these strips are. As these strips. These two strips. I want this to be the same height. Oh, a little bit more. Okay, so let's see how we did with that. Because we're leaving the little black edge all the way down. We're centering that in between the two strips. And we are right on it. Good. Let's see if that little mark will come off okay alrighty and is it inked no I'm gonna ink it from the back because I don't want all the black on the front so if you do your slide motion from the back to get the edges you get no black on the front okay but you have to turn it around to your back and scrape it across your edges like that. And that way you get 
no haloing around if that's what you want. And for this piece, definitely that is what I wanted. So we're going to center it and place it down. Oh, and this is just not wanting to ink properly. Okay. All right, let's get this puppy on here. And then we will be done, I believe. Oh no, we've got the patchwork. Um, okay, so we're going to match, e even it out so it's equal, covering over equally on both edges of the strips, the outside strips, and then glue it all the way down. Let's give it a little burnish. And we still have a little bit of decorating to do. Okay, so there's that. And that's already inked. That's not. And then we're going to, I'm gonna back him on black first. So let me get a little piece of my black paper. Come here. This is a, 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 a lighter black that I had. And I'm just going to glue him down to give him a little black edge. And it'll just make him pop a little better instead of putting him down just flat on the paper. Because it's got the same brown that you're laying him on. And so he's not going to really pop. Now I'm going to use two edges that I don't have to cut. I'm just going to make sure that those are nice and even. There we go. And then we'll use the cutter. And sometimes when you're doing this, it is easier to actually pull the piece all the way through. And then you can really see how much you're leaving instead of having it go in this way if you have it come out this way. But when I do this, I don't necessarily put it up here, but if you line it up on one of these horizontal lines, then you're going to get at least get a straight cut and I left a little too much on the top. I'm just going to hang it over the edge a smidge. Get it even. There we go. Now, let me put it on there. And see how it pops now? It just makes it look that much better. Okay, so we're going to glue this little puppy down. And this makes quite a nice page, guys. Quite a nice page. And we want to make sure that we have it evenly dispersed on both sides, top and bottom. So like maybe you can count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yep, it looks like that's a good spot for it. And we'll do a little bit of burnishing. If these ends want to stay popped up, don't push them down because then you're going to have kind of this rounded flat thing. If it doesn't all go stick down on the paper, it's perfectly fine. It's going to leave it as a slightly raised piece. So now all we need to do is we've got this little piece that we cut for the 
inside of that flap and let's get all the pieces we have left which are not much I grant you that they are not much I mean I saved all the little pieces okay so um, I've got some of that and that's got a cute little almost got the whole picture of the little girl in there that I'll keep it on this um, that doesn't make any sense now that has that kiss on it and that's just a strip and we've got a few little of those I do have this strip still let's see was there anything else nothing on the car okay okay and then I have okay so I've got a lot of the stripes what is this one more stripes um, so we can put this in here somewhere she'll be cute we can cover a good bit of it with this and then add some strips and stripes in different places uh, let's see if we put this here lay her right above that yeah that's kind of nice and then oh this isn't a strip this is my February thing so these three items I still have plans for um, okay so anything interesting on the back of these not really okay so mm, 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 mm. what to do what to do what to do what to do now I kind of like using this and I don't think I have a whole lot of choices other than using this and that's not long enough to go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom um okay let's go ahead and remember we can we can have this stuff hang over uh i am gonna butt everything up on this on this one so it's not really a patchwork this is just using your leftovers i don't really know what people are calling this but uh and since we're butting everything together, we do not have to do our edges. If some of the edges are done, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to lay this right in the center as best I can eyeball it. All the way to the end, to the edge, and put it on okay so then we have these little strips and we've got these little pieces and we've got this little this little love love lover little lover okay so why did you not get huh that didn't work real well I didn't get all the way to the edge on this okay if I burnish it works better especially on this thinner copy paper because remember this white paper is just copy paper okay there we go now um, we're just going to take these little strips and we're just going to start gluing them down and all we want to do is get the let's see I think I'm gonna cut this in half I don't want quite so wide let's see I'm gonna cut it about a half inch and then I'll have that piece so I'll have two different two different 
thicknesses. And then we're just going to, you can put glue on the paper, especially when you're doing this one. It's uh, when you're just butting everything up together. A lot of times that's a little easier. And then I have these little pieces that I am going to use as well. And we're just going to go down each side. And we have this that we can use. Let's see. I think I'll do it like this. Just make sure you're keep keeping everything to the edges. And now let's do a bigger piece of this. Alright, and uh, let's see, a little strip here. I know it, it looks ridiculous. Just looks ridiculous, but... And we can use these little things with little words on them. It's no biggie. The way we're doing it this way. It's just a little bit of interest. Okay, and now I'm going to use this smaller brown. And if you don't put enough on, just stick it in the glue and grab a little bit onto the side that... You didn't put it down far enough. And then I'm going to use this black. Every once in a while, just give it all a burnish. I don't think I have anything in the garbage. Because I didn't throw anything away. Nothing. Nothing, honey. All right, so I'm really trying to get the, let me cut this off. And this is going to have, oh, that's nice. Okay. It's got a swirl in there and such, so it's, a little bit different and then this I'm going to have the stripe go the opposite direction so I'm just going to get this finished and this is how you make every inch of your paper count for something all right and there's to me there's just nothing more satisfying than walking away from your project and you used everything that you could possibly use. And then we're just going to cut down right along the white copy paper because that is the size we need. And then all of the pieces that are falling down can be used on the other side. There we go. Okay, isn't that cute? See? Isn't that cute? And it's so easy, guys. Just so easy. I would love to have her little whole face in there, but that just looks silly. So I'm going to use a lot of these little trims that have different colors in them just to add a little more interest since we have very little in the way of anything else. Here's that little girl. I'm going to put her face right up at the top. And 
I didn't put long enough, so I'm just sticking my little bottom edge in there. Get a little burnish going on. Okay, and let's do a strip. No, let's do... Let's see. I wanna I wanna use the word fill. Hopefully that will all fit in there. Let's get a little Yay. Yay. Yeah, whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah, whoop, whoop. Okay, and that black I want. Yeah, it doesn't matter that you're not going to be able to see what the word is. It's just for interest. Lots and lots of interest. That's just this little little strip you want to make sure that it's all the way to the edge of the top paper you put above it and all the way to this center paper and let's see then I have this little strip Oops. Okay, what else do I have? Uh, let's do this. Nope. Let's do a thing of brown. I want the smaller brown. I don't know if you saw me. I kind of hold it and I see where I need to put the glue to. So, you know, that's that's a way that you can do it. That's when I'm when I'm placing these down, I'm looking, I say, okay, I need the glue to about there. And I have been placing my finger there. I'm just not, you know, not telling you that that's what I'm doing. And but that's what I'm here for. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's that. And then this is oh, that's probably enough. Way too much glue. That little strip in there. And running out of stuff. Huh. I think I'm going to cut this down. To that and I think I'm going to put this paper first okay Oop. yep 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 and then this There's no right or wrong way to do this, guys. It's just, it is what it is. And you just, if you think about it too much, um, you know, that that's the beauty with this, doing this um, type of, uh, of using up your strips is you think it looks like a total horrible yucky thing but it's not and I want to put those little hearts across the bottom so just put a little glue right there put this down and then I don't want to cut the one I just put down so let's get this 
cut off the top. There we go. And is that dry enough yet? I want to give it a little bit of time to dry. So this is what we have left. Of course, this is going to get used and those are going to get used. Um, but that is what we have left. Oh, and this piece and... Oh, and I have my postcard. Yay. So we have still a little bit of this for our next page. And these little pieces. And I do have this little bit here. So I'm going to keep all of this because somewhere uh, on one of our other pages we're probably going to need this color red or whatever. So all of this we're saving and we're going to put it into our little container. to use on one of our other pages, <coughs> including what we're cutting off of here. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so let's get this cut off so you can see. sorry so there it is isn't that just the cutest so now let's see what it looks like in the book and then we'll do our last little finishing touches I'm gonna put all of this in our little basket over there open this up and this is where this is going right oh I forgot hmm you know what? I think I'm going to cut this side down. Because I forgot that I uh, put that there. So this is going to need to be cut right here. So let me cut this. And that is quite alright. We're going to put this in our save stuff as well. Now, before I put it down, I am going to ink the outside edges because you are going to see that. And I am going from the back because I don't want a lot of the black halo on my front. I want my front to look pretty clean, pretty clean. Okay, guys, get this centered. There we go. I gotta get there. Yeah, I got just a teeny black edge, but it's all the way around. I am gonna leave these, I've got these little triangles here. I'm gonna leave them uh, black. I think it's gonna be fine. Um, if you wanted to, you could cut a corner off of something um, and put on there. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Now this would also be a good spot if you had another brad that you wanted to uh, put down or something like that. Okay, so we're going to lay this back down with our little black edge all the way around. <coughs> oh, I'm going to have to get off because my throat is just tickling me to death. And we can put that right there. What do you think? What do you think? There, we can put it down a little ways. We can put it up a little ways. If we put it right down here at the bottom, 
it might be large enough to put this little tag in here. Wouldn't that be cute? right into the microphone oh my gosh guys i am so sorry but as you can tell i'm really starting to have some allergy issues oh and there's that fly again okay i am just going to put a thin right on the edge just a thin little bead of glue end up with a big old gollywob on the end of that and then I'm going to place this down centering it as best I can eyeballing it and that looks pretty good when you because we want to have as big a pocket as possible when you burnish you're going to burnish from the center out so that you're pushing the glue to the outside edge instead of just wherever it wants to go because hopefully we will have enough room for this to fit in <clears throat> and you know what guys with the rest of this i think there's going to be a little bit of a surprise as we do a walkthrough i'm going to stick these little items in here and then I'll leave you a little something something um, for the walkthrough so that you'll have some surprises. <coughs> ah, so you'll have some surprises. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm trying to finish this up. Is this going to fit in here? It is. Look at that. Look at that. How cute. How cute. Okay, so we're going to close it up. And I'll do a quick walk through. So we have our page. This is page number one. This is February. We're going to open up. And we have our little February tag down in with our little, our one little Cupid for Valentine's Day on here. And then we patchworked our upper and we've got our beautiful pockets. Uh, don't have anything in the pockets yet, but we'll we'll figure something out. And then we have this, where we have the two photo frames on this side, and then this frame. And remember, this is up, so you can slide your photo underneath there. We have our card here, where you can put a photo on the back. Or you can use this as a nice tag and get a white pen and write on the back. And then you have... Uh, these little items that I am going to do something with and you will see it through the walkthrough. Okay, guys? All right. And that will give you a little something something to look forward to on the walkthrough. All right. Thanks for joining me. Let's get started on page two on the next video, okay? And just a reminder this is the one as you can tell i've been flipping the flaps flapping the flips trying to figure out what i was going to do so that is the next one we're going to concentrate on and i am pulling out so you can do your homework i pulled out these three stickers and i'm going to use those you can use any ones you want, but if you want to do the, what I'm doing, and the, this is a frame that comes off of this rectangular in the center, rectangular, rectangle in the center, I'm keeping them together. So I pulled out those three. I pulled out a piece of green that I thought looked nice with the paper line, and I've got two of our card stocks, um, of our craft card stock. And then I have the March, um, basic March sheet. And then I have the cut apart March with the back. That's it. There's your homework. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.